Hello and welcome to my tutorial, my new tutorial series on, this is exciting, how to create advanced platform movement in MMF2. Now I'm sorry I haven't made any tutorials in quite a while, I think almost a year now, and that's simply because I haven't been using this program for a while, I've been doing more 3D related things, um, but now I'm back into this, I've been starting to use this program again and I've been learning new things, so I decided to start making tutorials again. So, um... Let's start by inserting our basic active object and let's rename him player. Very creative. And now we'll insert a basic background and we'll make it a solid color so it's simpler. I only wish that it would be default a solid color. I hate that little picture. It's so weird and ugly. Um, then we'll spread it across the screen, make it a little thinner, and we'll make it a obstacle. Now, if you don't know what I mean by create advanced platform movement, I mean you're creating your own platform movement. Instead of um, what most people do, or at least most beginners do, um, instead of adding the platform movement that is created for you in the program, um, you're going to be creating your own. And the reason we do this is, um, for one thing, it's you, it's less glitchy. Usually, if you do it right, it's less glitchy um, than this movement. And it also allows for more customization. So things like hanging on the edge of platforms, or double jumps, or a bunch of other things. It, it just it, it gives you a lot more freedom with what you can do with the platform movement. So instead of doing a plat adding a platform, we're just going to start it as a static object and we're going to make the movements ourselves through the conditions. So one thing first before I get started is you're going to create a new alterable value and you're going to call it p speed or some variation of the word speed. Just don't use the exact word speed because MMF2 won't let you do that because it's already used in the program the word speed for a different for a different function. So just I would just just make name it p speed, keep it simple. <laughs> um, that's what I do. Um so you go to your conditions, create a new condition, and we're gonna start by doing the most basic thing. Um, we're gonna make it be when repeat while a key is pressed, and we're gonna make it the right arrow. And we're gonna make the player move right when the right arrow is pressed. So that's obviously the most basic part of this. We're doing it first. So you wanna set the x coordinate of the player to the x coordinate of the player plus one. So basically, your every um, every uh, when it, while you have the right arrow pressed, the program will continuously setting the player's position to its current position plus one. So it's it can it's continuously adding to its position, um, to its x position. So if it was at forty, it'll be at forty one, then forty two, then forty three. So it basically makes it move right. So if we test that, and we hold the right arrow, we can make it move right. However, that's extremely slow. So what we're going to do instead, so that we can modify the speed whenever we want to, without having to go into this and editing it, instead of doing plus one, we're going to retrieve data from an object, values, values a to m, p speed. And that's why we created that little value before. Um, so now it's adding the speed to it. So Basically, that means that you can just change this number, and the higher this number is, the faster it will go. So if you ever change your mind at the speed, or you want to maybe um, in the game you make him go faster through some sort of upgrade or something, you just change this. You can just have it change the value. So let's make it three. That's a pretty good speed I find for this size of a player. So if we try that, and that looks pretty good. Now, if we hit the left key, it doesn't do anything because we haven't made that condition yet. So we just it's very simple to make that one. We just copy this down. Edit. So that it's the left arrow instead of the right arrow. Copy this down by dragging it down. Edit. And we're gonna do minus P speed. So it's still going the same P speed left, but it's just going left. Hit OK. Let's try this. And there you go. That's the very, very basic thing of moving right and left. 